Hello. Oh, hey, there we are. Hello, ReaperCon 2023. Hope everybody's having a good time. I know we are. We enjoy putting on the show. We appreciate you guys coming out for the MSP Open Award Ceremony for 2023. Derek and Ann are going to be running the ceremony. They're going to be awarding all the prizes for the uh, painting contest. Uh, they're going to have some st statistics regarding how many entries we had, how many entrants we had, all that kind of fun stuff. But uh, what we're going to do first, let me put my spectacles on. We're going to do what we do every year. We're going to induct a couple of new people into the Reaper Miniatures Hall of Fame. And if you'll notice right here in front of me, I've got a table full of our Hall of Famers. And here to my right. I'm just going to name everyone's name off real quick, so indulge me. And if I didn't, if I, if I missed a name, I'm sorry. Look, I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Okay. But Jason Wiebe, Debbie Lewis, Derek Schubert, Werner Clock, Cheryl Storm, Bobby Jackson, Rhonda Bender, Joseph Wolf, Bob Rodolfi, Julie Guthrie, Sandra Garrity, Izzy Collier, Tim Peasley, Michael Proctor, Michael Kirk, Chris Marquardt, Gene Van Horn, and Ron Bootpakti. Let's give those guys a big hand. Thank you guys for all you do for Reaper and for ReaperCon. So um, this year, we're pleased to announce that we're renaming our Hall of Fame to the Reaper Miniatures Ed Pugh Hall of Fame in honor of Reaper's founder and president. So it'll forever be known as that. Just real quick, the Reaper Hall of Fame was started in 2012 to honor the individual, individuals excuse me, outside of Reaper whose contributions to our hobby have been invaluable. These wonderful people are our most important volunteers, sculptors, painters, and artists. These individuals continue to contribute incredibly to our product and brand identities and continue to be held dear to our hearts as close friends. So it only seemed appropriate that with renaming the uh, Hall of Fame into the uh, Reaper Miniatures Ed Pugh Hall of Fame, that Ed Pugh would be inducted posthumously into the Hall of Fame. So, David, uh, <laughs> David Pugh couldn't be here to, uh, couldn't be here to, uh, thank you very much, yes. <laughs> David couldn't be here to accept Ed's award, but uh, here we go, here's Ed's trophy. We're gonna put it in our uh, gallery, and it'll forever be known and shown to everyone who wanted to see Ed's trophy. So, again, one more time, one more big hand for Ed. Ed, thank you. Okay, yeah. Let's give, her, let's give him a standing ovation. Yeah, here we go. I know that... Uh, He would be looking down, he's, he is looking down right now on all of us. I know he would, be, he would really appreciate it. So it's kind of hard to talk about it still, but uh, I know that he cares for everybody in here, and this is something he really wanted for all of us. So again, thank you very much. Okay, now we have a second inductee this year. Jason Wiebe is going to come up and do the honors. All right, let's the Hall of Famer Jason Wiebe. There you go. Thanks, Ron. To kind of build on Ed and what Ron was talking about, it occurs to me that one of the things that Ed did, of the many things he did, was to inspire a lot of volunteerism and a family that gets together every year. And so this year we were thinking, um, we have a lot of creative people in the Hall of Fame. We have people that are volunteers in the Hall of Fame. And it's about time that we come into the electronic age. So someone that's been invaluable for the last few years, well, for longer than that, mm -hmm. on the forums and on Twitch, is Jen Bland, Quindy LaRue. So we'd like you to come up here and... So Quindy's extremely 
invaluable to everybody that does a Twitch stream show. If you've seen her, very often we'll mention something on Twitch and she'll be Johnny on the spot with a link or an explanation or a page number or something. All righty. Well, thank you very much. I said, uh, Jen, you don't have to say anything. And she goes, good. <laughs> all right. All right. So everybody's happy. Let's have a good time. Come on. Let's all, let's have a good time. So here what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it over uh, to Derek Schubert really quickly. He's going to do the uh, MSP medalist presentation. This is something we do every year as well. In addition to the Hall of Fame is the MSP medalist. And, oh, Derek's got the, the fancy trophy. Here he comes. Weighs a ton. There we go. Okay. Here's Derek with the, uh, do you need a little, you need a little write-up on the medalist? I can turn it to that page. Here, you, Vamp. Okay. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the MSP medalist MSP medalists have consistently pursued and achieved excellence in the art of miniature modeling and painting. They have demonstrated leadership and passion in promoting and teaching others about the hobby. This is our fun club of all-star painters. And uh, Anne started us off uh, with an inaugural class of five of us a bunch of years ago. And uh, over the years, we've inducted one, one more each year, sometimes two more. The current roster includes Aaron Lovejoy, Angela Emery, Anne Forster, me, Derek Schubert, Doug Cohen, Aaron Hartwell, Jennifer Haley, P.K. Rich, Laszlo Yakzowski, Marika Reimer, Michael Proctor, Rhonda Bender, and Tish Walter. So the, this, these are the members of our current club, and we're here to induct a new member of the club. Well, I remember when this young whippersnapper was just starting out with some painting. I would see this young feller around some of the conventions around the San Francisco Bay Area. This guy thought he was up and coming in painting. He said, one day I'm going to be the best painter around. And sure enough, there came a convention when he beat me, the old dog. And he said, ooh, old timer, I done beat you. And I said, well, you relish this day, young fella, because I'm not going to let you do that to me again. Um, <laughs> That's all a totally true story from, from, from my point of view. Um, you, <laughs> you have seen this painter at uh, several past ReaperCons. Um, he has sprung up to heights of excellence in short order and is now a uh, master of depicting light and volume and textures on uh, models, especially larger scale. You might know this person as a partner to Ann Forster. We know this person as David Diamondstone. Welcome aboard, David. You are the newest MSP medalist. And since I have nothing else to do tonight, I guess I'll just stick around and I'll help announce the awards ceremony. <laughs> Along with Anne. You get two for the price of one. For the price of zero, whatever it is. <laughs> Included free with your paid admission to ReaperCon. We are going to be announcing the results of the MSP Open Paint Contest, uh, including certificates and medals and special Reaper trophies. Yes. Yes. Um, 
We also have various manufacturer awards, manufacturers and other, other sponsors. Um, we have some statistics yeah. on this year's contest. Or Anne, do you want to introduce the contest in general? Oh, sure. I think she does. Here All you right. go. Yeah, I'll take over just for a second. Don't worry, the more entertaining guy will be back, guys. I'm not going to do any funny accents. It's just me. Hi, everybody. Hi, ReaperCon. Hey. And, and welcome to all the new people. Um, the first statistic, actually, that I want to talk about is, is that we had over 100 new entrants in the system this year. So a lot of new people. And like, I've been running, for those of you new people who don't know who I am, um, I've been running, I, I helped to make ReaperCon. The first ReaperCon, I think we maybe had 30 entries in our painting competition, so it's grown a little bit. So thank you all for participating. You know it makes my heart just swell with joy to see all of these entries, and boy, you like crammed that room full this year, so thank you so much. We had, we finally exceeded our pre-COVID records for entries this year. So we actually had 1,086 entries, yeah, yeah. And that almost, that's over 100 more than our previous record, so yeah. And then 388 artists entering. And uh, yeah, anything else, I don't know. I don't know. That's probably the best stuff. <laughs> oh, 109 diorama entries. Like, that's really cool, because diorama was a little tiny category for a while. It just seemed like, you know, we had like 30 or 40, and a boom, over 100. So thank you so much. So if you don't know the background of the MSP and why we run it this way with the, what we call the open system, um, there was a time when Ed and I did a road trip. Uh, we had been looking at starting a competition, and Ed wanted to have a competition that was Reaper-backed, that would encourage the painting community, because he was all about that. And he was very interested in how the historical community ran their shows, which was using this open system. So we road tripped up to Tulsa to go to the Tulsa show so Ed could get like an actual hands-on and talk to people about um, all of, you know, how you do it and, and talk to the entrance and get the idea of whether he wanted to do it. I have never been so scared in my life. If you ever go on a, went on a road trip with Ed, you know what I'm talking about. That man, put him behind the wheel and he was a hazard. <laughs> We were, in, we were in a gigantic van we used to call the Viking Longship. That's what we called it. It was one of those huge passenger vans that we used to use for tours to Reaper headquarters. And I swear, like, it, it was lucky nobody managed. He didn't manage to take anybody out when he was switching lanes. It was insane. But, yes, so we went up there, and we loved it. We loved the fact that when the MSP, you never give an award at the exclusion of anybody else. So, like, if there are 100 entries that are all worthy of a gold medal, those 100 entries get gold medals. And that was, like, the best thing, the thing that both Ed and I really loved about it. Because I hate, I always disliked the competitions where it's like, only the top three people get anything. And it's like, well, why did the rest of us come? <laughs> so, for this competition, we have a nice mixture of the medals. And then we also do the manufacturer awards, which are more like the first, you know, top second, first, second, third. And I also want to thank all of you who voted for best in show, because for every single, I, gosh, every year after the first few, we decided to do the best in show as a crowd vote. And although the judges do get an extra ballot, it's still you guys who are picking these best in show entries, and I have never been disappointed with your choices. So thank you for taking it seriously. Thank you for voting. We really appreciate you. All right, Derek, do we want to get rolling with uh, some of the actual awards? Do you want to start us off? I think I want to make a, a quick announcement. Oh, quick announcement. Oh. Well, quick announcement. We had an unprecedented occurrence last night. There were gremlins or sleepwalkers or something came through the hall here last night and um, uh, unprecedented in the history of ReaperCon, some uh, objects of art disappeared from the tables of the artists in Artist Alley when this gremlin or sleepwalker or somebody came through. Uh, I think uh, there's been an email that's gone out to all of you who are registered for the con announcing, uh, explaining what's gone on. Um, We'd, uh, we'd like to get to the bottom of the mystery, and uh, if any of you knows anything about the gremlins or sleepwalkers or paranormal activities of last night, 
um, we, are, we will be uh, grateful to resolve the mystery. Because ReaperCon is about all of us coming together as a family, sharing our art with one another and appreciating one another. So we want to keep that spirit of support and love and trust going and building ever greater through the years. So we'll look at this as a, a blip, a setback, and we, uh, we want to move past it quickly. So we thank you all. want to start. We will start with the certificates of merit for the ordinance category. Do you want me to be your page flipper? Um, sure, she please. She gets to be the page flipper. She gets to be the page flipper. All certificates should be picked up at this table here because they have the big stack of certificates. Medals will be slightly different, but this is where you get these certificates. Okay. And medals. When, we, when we announce the medals, bronze, silver, and gold, you will be able to pick up medals from either side of the stage, whatever's closer to you. Let us begin. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> right. We begin with the ordinance certificates of merit, beginning with Phoenix Hawk by Mariah Barnes, a youth award. Do we want to, uh, how do you want to handle applause? They can applaud for everyone, but we probably, do we want to hold applause to, okay, we'll, we'll do a group. We'll do a group of about five, and then you can applaud five times for those five people. <laughs> Second award goes to Blue Guy by Izzy Barnes, also a youth award. Smith Gun by John Barnes. Imperator Cav Mining Mech Converted by David Brawley. Kraken B Aircraft by Mary Ehlenfeldt. Those are your first five certificates. <laughs> Proceeding with the Wolfhound 2C of the 13th Wolf Guards, The Wolf Spiders by Daniel Highstand. Bam Bam by Frank Lecoq. Iron Mike by Jay LaRue. Rowboat by Maxwell Sanders. And Spots by Grant Smith. Hear it for those Certificate of Merit winners. Okay. Next is Red Leader by Cameron Wilkes. Supply Chains by Victoria Williams. My First Cav by Tom Paul Wright. T-34 Charge by Michael Adams. Billy Butcher by Bob Davidson. And Bombs Away by Michael Faber. Let's hear it. <laughs> Next is Green Knight by Creed Hines Youth Award. The Broken Axle by Elizabeth Legner. And the last of our certificate winners, Call Sign Firefly by Michael Roebuck. Congratulations, Certificate of Merit winners. You want me to do the next one? Sure. Let's just hand it off. We'll just switch off for you guys so you get different voices and all that. Let's do Ordnance Bronze Medals. All right. And we're going to open with Tank Man by Tabitha Layden. Shoo, 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 baby by Frank Landris. Under Fire, Keep Trockin' by Gardiel Cubero. USS Missouri by Tom Duskowich. And Fox Flyer by Amber Hill. This is a youth award. <laughs> Round of applause. <laughs> Continuing with the bronzes in ordinance, we have The Machine by Brandon Lucio. Starhawk 5, Still Alive by Gary Magreno. A Masterpiece Containing Masterpieces by Jordan Murphy. Hail Mary by John Owens. And Barbialista Dream Siege Machine by Chandra Rayer. Big round of applause. I respect that. And then our last group of bronze medals will be Chancellor by Ash Richards. 
Heavy Construct Body by Austin Souter, Big Green by Peter Shaw, Noise Brute of Slanesh by Chris Swearingen, Red 2 Standing By, no, not that Red 2, by Von Bufkatki, and Macross Mark II Monster by Miladel Patatmat. Bronze. All right, there we go. That rounds out the bronzes. Round of applause. Remember, you can come to this side or that side to get your medals. We have silver medals in ordinance. Beginning with The Butcher by John Flores. Scouting Party by Adam Abu Yusuf. Old School, Still the Best Tool by Dominic Frank. Built to Spec by Mark Gunter, and Titan Buster by Julie Herrera. <laughs> Continuing with silver medals, CAS Inbound by James Ritchie. Still solid after all these years by Eric Samulski. A little to the left by Steven Sibok. 30 millimeter Flock Vierling by Cliff Bailey. Nightingale by Zach Needlinger, Neidlinger. And Japanese self-propelled gun by Glenn Phillips. Silver medals. All right, now we're to the good stuff. Well, actually, it's all good stuff. I can't say that. We're going gold. Here we go. Everybody ready? We have The Art of War by Jerry Allen. We have Cuban Comet by Bob Bethay. Panzer IV by Brian McLenchek. Sorry, sorry, Brian. I still, I still stumble over Brian's name after all these years. All right, it's probably why he comes. <laughs> Power Rangers Dreadnought by Stephen Windsor. Sherman Tank by Doug Cohen. Round of applause, please, everybody, for gold. And a few more for you, lovely, lovely machines. Imperial Fist Dreadnought by Giovanni Constanza. Dude, where's my horse? By Kara Curley. <laughs> Scarlet Inferno by Justin Fritz. Read, uh, re, read, period, read, read 2000 Falco by Dan Hill. Smog by Russ Hines, or Ross Hines, and Protector of the House by Jason Nichanicki. Nichanicki, yeah. <laughs> and that is all the golds. We're to Diorama. Diorama, is that how you pronounce it? I always said Diorama. Uh, you say potato, I say potato. Okay. We begin with certificates in the Diorama category. Weigh Carefully by John Barnes. Turn Back Sarah by Celeste Bile. I Didn't Know There Would Be Ghosts by Audrey Cogswell. And Bruce the Shark 2, Fish Are Friends, Not Food, But Dwarves Are Always On The Menu, AKA I Went Fishing In Dreadmere And All I Got Was One Lousy Bite. By Kenny Cowan. Let's hear it for those certificate winners. <laughs> Continuing with more certificates and uh, much shorter titles. Get Away From My Treasure by Paul Lacey Youth Award. Rival Treasure Hunting's Cunning Distraction by Chandra Ryer. Ohana Rescued and Reunited by Grant Smith. And After Prom by Aaron Wilkerson. Let's hear it for the certificate winners in Diorama. All right, bronze medals in the Diorama. What did you, how did you, never mind. <sighs> well, it's open with Terrorist by Audrey Bush. That's a youth award, everybody. New Neighbors Are the Worst by Laura Henderson. Quality Control by Frank LeCoq. Fungal Queen's Court by Tabitha McGree. Sharknado by Nolan Weldrick. Let's give a round of applause there. We have Hey, Bring That Back by Ted Bauman. Spring Jig by Rebecca Bond. 
I Have the High Ground by David Brawley. Returning to the Scene by Gabe Comer. He Chose Poorly by Ren Corcoran. And Spell Gone Wrong by Pamela Dennison of Bronze. Let me give us a round of applause. We have lots of bronze. I'm going to be here for a while. Let's continue on. We've got a lot of bronze medals in this category. Let's do Ambush by Tom Duskowich. The Truth, The Cause of the Wrecks on the Great Lakes by Mary Ellenfeld. Capture the Flag by Chris Erdelt. Demons of Despair by Ashley Espinosa. Maybe I Can Hold It After All by Michael Faber. Let's get a round of applause. <laughs> Continuing on for bronze, we have Choose by Michelle Farnsworth. Eleona the Scavenger by John Flores. To Hop or Not to Hop, That is the Question by Michael Freddy. That's Where the Inventory Goes by Randy Gregory II. And Remembering by Monica Heinrichs. Let's get a round of applause for those. <laughs> Continuing on, we have Autumn of the Valkyrie by Jenny Hinojosa. Tanksta Deployed by Jessica Kenny. The Rocketeer by Nathan Lacey. Jace and Max, James Lacey, this is a youth award. And Adventures in the Underdark by David Lecoq. Let's get a round of applause. <laughs> Lisette's Kirin Farm by Elizabeth Legner. Fury Road by Brandon Lucio. The Last Stand by Archer McBride. Thanks, Ed. Ed Pugh Tribute by Randy Mendoza. Let's get a round of applause there. Uh, the, the bronze category.